This is the third part of this layout series. And from the first two parts, we have this kind of strange layout with different um, items placed at different placements. I'm gonna do a uh, new thing now. So I don't really want to mess this up. So I'm gonna do a new view controller to make the next part. So let's pull in a new view controller. It doesn't have any code and I'm not really gonna use any code either. Let's say I would like a uh, I want to make a layout with a view. Let's pull in a view. Let's give it a color so I can see it. Red color. Let's say I want to make a view that is like this. I want to make this red view a square. How do I do that? Well, I um, can pin it and let's say out to the sides and then I'm gonna do the height. Well, that's the same as the screen width, but that changes for different screen sizes. So that I don't know. So how do I do this? One way to do it, and there are always different ways to do things, but one way to do it is say, first off, it's gonna be up here. So let's take it out to the sides and up. Now I've told it everything about size and placement except height. Let's not add that. So let's just up and to the sides, add. I get a warning that says I have no idea how what the height is. Now let's control, hold down control, click the red view and drag like you would to make a outlet into the assistant editor or something like that. Let's pull it down to the outer view, like this, and release. Now <clears throat> I get a, a small pop-up that says, all right, what do you want to do? I could here say that, hey, I want the red one to be equal width as the outer view, equal height, and uh, or give it the same aspect ratio. Now, I want it to be equal height. And then you think, nah, I want the height to be the same height. I want the height to be the screen width. But we'll come to that. Let's just say equal height. Now I get a warning that says, nah, I'm not that right now. So begin by saying update frames. Now it's happy, no warnings. It says that, yay, I'm the same height as the outer view. But let's change that. Let's look at the view, uh, look at the rules for the view. It says trailing, leading, top space, the placement. And let's double click the height. Now it says that the view's height, that is the red view, the height is equal to the super view's height. Yeah, sure. If I change this, let's say the super view's height, I can say actually that I want the red view's height to be as the super view's width. And now I made this height the same as the other one's width. I made a square. And this 
is independent of different screen sizes. So now it's a square, it's a square, it's a square, it's a square. Let's make it a big one. It's a square independent of screen sizes. This way I can make different I can make different views in different sizes <clears throat> according to relative to others. So let's say I want a view down here. Let's put in a view and let's give it a color so I can see it. I want a green one and I would like a small square down here that is a quarter of the screen. Uh, think about the, the built-in calculator in iOS. So a few buttons that are equal width and square, I want those lined up here. So let's first off place it. I want this green one to be way off to the side and way down. Let's make this. Now it's placed to the right and to the bottom. And it gives me some warnings because, yeah, it's to the right and down, but I have no idea how big it is. So let's take the green one and control drag it like this to the super view and say, hey, I want you to be equal in width. And you say, well, I don't really want to be equal in width. I don't want it to be in equal width. I want it to be a quarter in size. So let's look at the rules. And let's go down here. And it says equal width to super view. So let's double click that. It says my view width is the same as the super view's width. Not really. Here's the multiplier. I want it to be exactly the same, or I could say I want it to be 0 0.5. Now, I really can't update this because it's... Now it really said it's half size. But let's change that. Take this and say the width is the same as the super views width, 0 0.25, 25%, a quarter in size. What else do I want? I can control click this again to the super view and say, and now you see, width is marked. We have already selected that. Now let's say, let's make them equal height. And that we don't really don't want. If we do update frames now, it's quarter width and equal height. So let's change it. Equal height to super view, let's change that and say I want the height to be the same as the width. All right? Now the height is the same as the width, but no, multiplier 0 0.25, the same as we gave to the width. So the height is going to be the same as the width. Now we have a square down in the bottom right that is a quarter of the screen width and the same height. Let's look it across a few screens. Small screen, giant screen, quarter, always a square, 
always a quarter of the screen in size. And here we could do yet another view. Let's give it a color. Let's give it a, a, a blue color. And I want to say, I want yet another square down here next to the green one. And I could say, I want you to be, skip the margins, I want you to be zero pixels to the green one, close to it, zero pixels to the bottom, so down to the bottom. Let's add that. Those rules are in place for placement, but I haven't told it how big it's going to be. And here I can just say control click the blue one and drag it to the green one and say, hey, I want your width. And again, do the same thing again and say, hey, I want your height. And update the frames. And we got another square. We've got the same size as the green one. The green one is calculated from a quarter of screen width. And it's placed zero pixel margin to the green one and to the bottom. Let's look at that at different screens. And there it is. That concludes the third part in this series.